guys, this is Shay with Ronin Thimble and today I've got the easiest coffee filter tutorial for you guys. And these are all over Pinterest. There's so many different versions from really intricate rose ones to just plain puff balls. So this is a really easy way to make it still look flower-like, uh, but it is very, very easy to do. And make sure to stay till the end. I'm going to show you a couple of different variations and how you can create totally different looks with the exact same technique. Let's get started. So you will need coffee filters. I got a pack of 100 for a dollar at the dollar store. A stick, skewer, or floral wire, scissors. If you want to leave them white, you definitely can. If you want to add color, you can use watercolors. You can even use food coloring or water down acrylic paint and your glue gun. Um, and I'm going to be using this really <laughs> cheap <laughs> old watercolor set that I had laying around, but it works just fine. So I'm gonna go for kind of like a peachy pink, more of like an antique rose color. So I'm just mixing in my colors into my water cup and that's what I'm gonna be using to dip my coffee filters into once I reach the color that I like. So I'm just kind of adding more pigment to the cup as I go along and I'm adjusting it. I'm gonna make it a bit more of like a dusty color. That should be about right. I'm going to take my coffee filters. I'm going to be dyeing these three at a time because we're going to need three filters per flower. Just flatten them out, fold them a couple times, and I'm going to be creating an ombre effect. So I'm just going to be dipping the tip part, and I'm going to be going about a third of the way through, and I'm going to let the color seep through a little bit. And this is pretty light. It's going to get a little bit darker as it dries. So we're going to put that aside to dry. Here's the fun part. Here's where you can really decide what kind of flower you're going to end up with. You're going to fold it in half and half again, and you're going to decide what kind of petals you want. And I'm going to be showing some variations at the end, uh, but for right now, I'm going to stick to some really simple petal shapes. So I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to say about, let's do about three petals across. I'm just going to divide it roughly into three sections, not going all the way in. And then I can really refine it and create more of a petal shape. So round it up around the corners and repeat again on this side. And keep going for each one of your petals. So we've got our petal shapes all cut out and you're going to open it up and if you need to fix anything or if there's any areas where it didn't quite cut out correctly like around these folds where it didn't cut all the way in I can go in and fix that but it really is as simple as that so we've created our petal shapes the next thing we're going to need is we're going to grab our skewer we're going to push it through the center of all three and we're ready to start gluing got our three coffee filters loaded and ready to go. We've got our glue gun. I'm just going to squirt a good helping of glue right along the perimeter there and push it up towards the tip of our skewer and bunch it up together. And I'm just going to make sure that it comes in contact and keep all the petals together for now. Just make sure you give it a good squish around the base where all the glue is and give it a minute to cool down. In the meantime, we're gonna keep going. So filter number two, we've got our glue. Push it up towards the end and give it a good squish to make sure it comes in contact. Wait for it to cool down. And filter number three, all the way around. Move it up around the perimeter and just make sure that the base is on there securely so that it, the glue comes in contact with all the areas to make sure it stays stuck together and stuck to the stick as well and you can also add uh, silk leaves or you can use green ribbon for leaves um, or just leave it like that that's totally fine but that's pretty much it um, just give it a little bit of a fluff and your flower is pretty much done and you can see the really cool ombre effect with the concentration of color in the center and the white tips. And I'm going to show you a couple more variations you can make with the same technique.
There's a lot of different variations you can create with these. One of the variations you can create is by changing the way you cut your petals out. For example, when you make these long, skinny, pointy petals, the result is going to be a lot fluffier, kind of like a dahlia shape like this. You can even create more of a petal shape, but with a little bit of a zigzag or a scallop happening at the ends. And that's gonna create a little bit more of a carnation shape like that. Um, one of the other variations you can create is by changing the number of coffee filters you use. This is a flower that we just made with three filters. And here's an example of what it would look like with five. So a lot fluffier, creates a lot more volume, um, a much nicer rounded shape. And again, you can dye it different colors to create a totally different result. So I really hope you give this fun DIY a try. These are awesome for centerpieces. If you have an event or a wedding coming up, you can also utilize these as wall decor if you make them without the stick. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you think and stay tuned for more flower tutorials this month. Bye.